Aquarius Wetlands, 29th of April, 2013. Okay. Welcome to the wetlands. How many of you have been here before? All right. I hope all of you will come back. Bring your families. Put on your own little field trip for your families after today. We are very fortunate to have a beautiful sunny day, even though we needed the rain. We did have most field trips so far this year have been rained out, so you all picked the best day so far. Uh, today we're going to have five really fascinating activities for you, but before we do that, I want to remind you of a couple of things that probably your teachers have already talked to you about, but just a little reminder while we're out here. Uh, we're the guests here, so we need to be sure we treat all the plants and animals with tremendous respect, be considerate of them, stay on the paths. There was actually one year when a sixth grade boy who loves snakes was so excited he ran off the path even though we asked him not to, stepped on a little snake and killed it. And he was heartbroken. So not only do we want to protect the wildlife, but we also want to keep you away from poison ivy, ticks, other things that live out here. Uh, whatever you bring in, please take back out with you. Uh, please walk at all times. Running, I know it's sometimes really hard not to, but it really is a danger, and we need you to walk at all times. Thanks. Uh, please leave the plants alone. It's tempting to go along pulling on them, but please leave them alone. And unless somebody at, a, at an activity is handing you one or telling you specifically something to do with one. Um, I hope you thoroughly enjoy being out here today. It's a really fascinating place, and every time you come back, it'll be different because of the weather, because things will grow or, or, or in the fall go away. There's all kinds of constant change. So here are your five activities today. Let me make sure I have them straight with my little notes here. You're going to have one activity that's called Where in the World Are You? And that is going to help you figure out how to use compasses and different things on the, in the um, natural environment to figure out where you're at and just orient yourself according to different variables that you're going to be able to use. Another one will be water quality, looking at the water, figuring out, you know, what, what can we tell about the quality of this water, whether it's clean, what, what kind of things it has in it, what kind of pH it has, etc. Another one's going to be aquatic insects. What does aquatic mean? Water. Water. And right now there are so many cool things in the water, I can hardly stand to walk away when I see some of the things that are down, that are in the water for us to look at. There'll be another one that's on the history of these wetlands. They have amazing history. Um, it used to be 18,000 acres of wetlands here, and we gradually filled it all in, and then, thank goodness, brought back part of it we allowed to come back to its natural state. Then there'll be one on herps. Who knows what herps are? Herps. Any idea? Lizards. Blue shirt. Reptiles and amphibians. Yeah. So you will all go through all five.